Bob Cafaro here. Another video today is, uh, what is today? It's now Wednesday, Wednesday, October 17th, 2017. So it's 11 o'clock at night, the house is quiet, and I'm actually started some late night cooking, just been inspired. And on Saturday, I uh, got leftovers from Dan Lynn Farms. Uh, in Pedrick Town, New Jersey. They come up to the Collingswood Farmers Market. Just absolute, my favorite organic farmers on the planet. Anyway, I uh, have to share this with you. Look at these sweet potatoes. Have you ever seen sweet potatoes like these? Have a look at these. Just, <laughs> it's, it's almost comical, but these are so great. So I'm gonna, Bake these at 350 degrees, we'll see how long it takes. And other things I'm gonna make here, let's have a look over here. And you can see squash. There's other squashes I'm making. See, these are smaller ones. And they're supposed to be really great. I'm just going to clean those, cut them in half and put a little bit of water in a Pyrex dish. And there are some big butternut squashes over there. They're not that big, but they'll still be good. Again, this is organic food from Dan Lin Farms. So, uh, an exciting day for me today, actually. I, uh, yesterday, I was confirmed for my first book signing at Barnes & Noble in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and this is good because my book is now going to be in the big box store of this country, Barnes & Noble. So it was very exciting to have received that email, and today I went there and I dropped off books, and it's going to be great. So uh, it's interesting because on the website, I also started something recently I put down that if you want to be included in my mailing list, just send me your name and address. And a gentleman from the United Kingdom emailed, just said he got my book, he's diagnosed, got my book, and he wants to be on the mailing list. And I felt very inspired by this. So I'm going to start the first of my newsletters to come. And I've just found it very inspirational that, uh, you know, people want to know what I've done, how I've really conquered this disease. So stay with me and I'm going to probably be here another two hours at least, two and a half hours. So, Okay, I've been cooking for the last 25 minutes and let's take a peek at what I have over here. So these are two trays of the small squash. I'm not even sure what the name of this variety is, but as you can see, I cut them in half. Here, I cut them in half. I scooped out the seeds. You can save the seeds. I personally, some people save them and toast them or whatever, and I, I can't really be doing that right now. It's, I've been cooking for a half hour here. It's now about 11.30 at night. So we have two trays that are gonna go into the oven. So let's take a peek at what we're doing here. So here you can see my convection oven. And I don't know if you can see it there. There's a fan in the back and it circulates the heat for even cooking. So we're gonna put two trays in now. Let's put the big tray on the bottom here. Okay, and we'll put the smaller tray up on top and I'll rotate them periodically. <clears throat> so the potatoes have been in there about maybe close to a half hour now. As you can see I've got the oven at 350 on convection bake and it's pretty neat. So let's have a look as time goes and we'll see how the cooking comes along. Okay, it's Thursday, October 18th, and here are the fruits of my labors late last night. You can see there's a tray of the small squashes. I'm not even sure what the variety is. And here, look at these sweet potatoes. Those are good. And here last night I also made 
chopped up it's tofu caprese salad so it's organic tomatoes tofu and chopped up basil and again balsamic and vinegar uh, really good so let's see today for lunch I'll probably bring with me maybe one of these these are the small squashes again and maybe a small dish of tomato tofu caprese salad so anyway Thursday October 18th 2017 signing off